this video we're going to be looking at servers. Now we've got a definition up here for what servers are. They're exact values that involve square roots. So if we start with this number here, the square root of 3. Well if I take my calculator and I type in square root of 3, I get an answer of 1.732. And the decimal places go on. Now, if I'm writing it to decimal places, then I'm losing some of the accuracy. The only way I can write the answer to the square root of 3 without losing any accuracy by, by having to do any rounding is by leaving it in this form. Okay? If I want to, I could write it as 1.73. And state what I'm rounding it to. And sometimes it's good to do that in your answers. It might even be good to write the exact form and then also show a rounded form, but always state what you're rounding it to. And remember that the exact answer can only be written like that. Okay, now while we're looking at square roots of numbers, it's also worth reminding ourselves that if we've got the square root of numbers, the square root of three, and we're multiplying it by the square root of 3, well that is just equal to 3. Because if you think the opposite operation, the square root of that is just going to be one of these here. Okay, and we've summarised that result here. Okay. Now, when we're dealing with thirds, we might often get something like this, it's asking us to simplify uh, a value in, with square roots. Well, we can use this little rule for us, and that is that the square root of two numbers multiplied together is equal to the product of those two individual square roots. So, how's that going to help us? Well, we need to find two numbers multiplied together that give us 80. So let's look at the factor pairs of 80. Well, we've got 1 and 80. 1 times 80 equals 80. We've got 2 and 40. 2 40s are 80. We've got 4 and 20. 5 and 16. 5 and 16s are 80. And we've also got 8 and 10. So it might not be obvious how this is going to help, but what we want to do is look for any of these factor pairs that have got square numbers in them. So we've got 4 a square and also 16. And we're going to take the factor pair which has got the largest square number. Now, when I put it into our little rule up here, you'll see why. So we can say the square root of 80 is equal to the square root of 5 times 16, which is also equal to the square root of 5 times the square root of 16. Well, we've already said the square root of 16 is 4, so this is equal to 4 times the square root of 5. Okay? Uh, it's just a simplified version of the square root of 80. In other words, using the smaller numbers to express the same result. Now, what's always good when you're doing these simplifications is to check. So, if we, I've got my calculator again. If we start off with the square root of 80, we get that as 0.944. Now, if we do the same with 4 times root 5, we should get the same answer, yes, 3.94. So always check that when you've done any sort of simplifying of this nature, check you get the same answers when you put them in your calculator. Okay. Now we've got another law which is similar, but it's looking at division rather than multiplication. So to simplify the square root of 9 over 23, we can write this as the square root of 9 divided by the square root of 23. 
And we should all know that the square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of 23, that's just going to stay the same. This is a prime number, so we're not going to be able to uh, make that any more simple. Okay, that's our result here. Okay. When dealing with surge, you might also see the term rationalising the denominator. What that basically means is getting rid of any square roots in the, the bottom half of your fraction or your division. And the best way to do that is by multiplying it. Because we've seen already, if we multiply the same square root together, we just get the, the number itself. So, if you multiply by root 3, it's going to go, but we can't just multiply by some random number. However, if we write it like this, square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3, well, this is just 1. So multiply this fraction by 1. And you'll see why. So the denominator, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3. Multiplied by 5 is 15. And on top, we're left with 7 root 3. Okay? So we've rationalised the denominator, we've got rid of the square root. Now, here we've got something similar. We're asked to rationalise and simplify. So we want to get rid of this square root 7. So we're going to need to multiply by the square root of 7, but we need to do a little bit more than that. So what we're going to multiply by is actually 3 minus square root of 7. And again, whatever we have at the bottom, we do the same at the top. So we're still, this is still equal to 1. So we just multiply our fraction by 1. But by doing it in this way, if we work with the denominator first, we're going to have 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 times minus root 7 is minus 3 root 7. Root 7 times positive 3, so it's plus 3 root 7. And then we're left with root 7 times minus root 7. Or root 7 times root 7 is 7. Minus and a plus, it's going to stay to minus 7. And what we see is that we've got minus 3 root 7 plus 3 root 7. So these two are going to cancel each other out. Now on top we've got 1 times 3, which is 3. 1 times minus root 7 is just minus root 7. Now we've got root 7 times positive 3, so that's plus 3 root 7. And root 7 times root 7, well we saw before that's equal to 7. Positive and negative, so that's going to be negative 7. Okay, now... We can tidy this up. On the top we've got 3 minus 7, so that's going to be minus 4. And then we've got uh, minus root 7 plus 3 root 7s. So this is like minus 1 plus 3, which is plus 2 lots of root 7. And down here in the denominator, well, these two cancelled out, which has got 9 minus 7, which is equal to 2. And we can tidy this up a little bit because you can divide 2 into 4 and 2 into 2. So minus 4 divided by 2, well, that's going to be minus 2. And the 2s will cancel here, so we're going to have minus 2 plus root 7. And if you just want to make it a little bit tidier, you can put the positive value first, so you've got root 7 minus 2. And that's what thirds are and how to work with them.